Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Command and & Conquer. When last we left off, we'd finished the Fun Park Dinosaur Campaign. But that doesn't mean to say that the fun went with it. Oh no! There are many more missions that we can yet play, namely from the Cova Operations expansion. The Cova Operations, among other things, added a lot of standalone missions, both for GDI and for the Brotherhood of Nod. And we're going to be starting with the Bad Neighbourhood mission from the Brotherhood of Nod. I mean, how bad can that neighbourhood be, right? The answer is very, if you're the Brotherhood of Nod. Let's go! to remove all GDI forces from this area. Unfortunately, the civilians in this area are GDI friendly. You must remain undetected until your base is ready. If either GDI or the civilians discover you, GDI will attack. That is not an empty threat. They will send their forces against you when they find out you're here. But right now, they don't know we're here. Except I think the ion cannon they have does know we're here. So even though they really shouldn't be sending anything against us or attacking us whatsoever, they will most likely send an ion cannon blast or two at us eventually. So it's only a matter of time before we have to start defending ourselves. That said, we do have a small window of opportunity here that we're going to uh, use quite quickly to build up a base as fast as we possibly can. We need to get the uh, obelisks of light as quickly as possible. We also need to hope that this tree here will become a uh, Tiberium spewing tree, complete. so we have a slow but unlimited supply of Tiberium very, very close by. We don't need to worry about silos at the moment because uh, we're going to be spending all of the money that we get. We also need to get a stealth tank as quickly as possible because we're going to be exploring with, there we go, much better. Now we have a near unlimited source of Tiberium. It's going to be very slow, but it's better than nothing whatsoever. I think another advanced power plant is most certainly needed right now because uh, we need to make sure that uh, we can power the obelisks of light when we get them. And the two harvesters are happily harvesting away. I think now a... Um, do we want an airstrip or do we want a Hand of Nod first? I think actually a uh, airstrip is more important. But the Hand of Nod is so cheap, we might as well build it now. There we go, we'll put that, I think, uh, right here. There we go, and one airstrip over here. It is a very compact base, we do need it to be uh, very contained, because I think a uh, civilian village is just over there. But the sooner we can uh, start building our units and our defences, the better off we'll be. Also, putting a hand of nod there might be a terrible mistake, but hey, it's there now, and selling it would only waste our resources. Also, we nearly have run out of Tiberium already, but we do have quite a bit more available. There we go, one airstrip completely built. And now, one stealth tank also built. We could build a, a Temple of Nod, and in fact, we're going to be relying on that Temple of Nod eventually to uh, secure our victory, because I think we need to use a uh, nuclear strike quite effectively to uh, cripple their base. There we go, we have the ability to now uh, scout around, which we will do as quickly as possible. And we have one obelisk of light, but only one. We really, really need two. Anything over here? There is a mammoth tank here, but I do think there is some Tiberium a lot closer by that we're going to be using. There we go, one obelisk there, and I think we have enough power for a second one, but we might as well get another advanced power plant anyway, because uh, we're certainly going to need the power for the Temple of Nod, that's for sure. The village, I think, is down there, so we're going to make sure that we uh, don't alert their attention, and we're going to send the stealth tank back up there, while we uh, put this here, and then send these uh, two harvesters very carefully up. Ooh, careful. You don't want to go right next to that. We're going to send the harvesters very carefully over there. It's only a matter of time before the ion cannon hits us either way, but if we're lucky, we might be able to prevent ourselves from being attacked for just a little longer. I think their base is over here. Yes, indeed, their base is over here. 
And Moving it's uh, pretty well defended from this angle, and not well defended yes, from sir. many other angles. I think there's a very easy entrance over here that we can take advantage of. Yes, indeed, it's very easy. There's also a um, crate here, but I think has some money in it. Also, we're going to get ready another Building. obelisk of light, because I think eventually the ion cannon is going to blow up R1. Out. Yes, indeed, there's quite a base over here, with a lot of things. Moving there out. are two uh, refineries, there's um, some orcas over there, and there's a very good place we could put a nuclear Moving strike out. right there. Moving but for out. now, I think we want to uh, buy our time as much as we can, and uh, wait for them to attack complete. us. There we go, I think a, a second uh, obelisk will do well right there. And we could start building a, uh, we could build a building. recon bike, for instance, so that uh, when we do get attacked, we can uh, send the recon bike over to um, distract their um, harvesters. That's a very good idea. There is our singular... Yes, then again, maybe they might have noticed that that was there, the... Uh, the aircraft that went and deposited this uh, recon bike, but then again they would have noticed with the uh, stealth tank as well, so I don't think they did. Building. Also, building a turret here Waiting. might just oh, be now. a very, very... Uh-oh! There indeed is an attack, and I think Cancel. now we can presume that they know we're here. So we're just gonna get this uh, thing here, there we go. Much better. Now we... Uh-oh! Don't do that, you want to get away as quickly as you can. There we go, and now you must retreat in this direction as fast as possible, because uh, we've ran out of time, I think. We want an obelisk of light right about here, I think, to defend against any attacks that come from this direction. There we go, and we want to start building a Temple of Nod as quickly as possible, because we have an ideal place to... Uh, ah, the civilians have now ran to the safety of the uh, GDI base, although, then again, it's not very safe at all right now. Is there going to be a civilian running into here? There could be. Sometimes they do send someone over to try and uh, launch a flare, and we don't want that to happen at Got all. It. But I think it's safe to say now that the um, the game is up, and they know that we're here. So we're going to have to be uh, very, very um, quick in defending ourselves. Here come some of their units, and unfortunately you're coming from this angle, which has a few obelisks of light defending it. There we go. And now we have a very good defensive position. Very good indeed. And as you can see, the uh, harvesters have started to... Uh, they've definitely started to... Um, collect some Tiberium. Also, there, is no, there are no defenses here whatsoever. We need to uh, throw this enemy over here. There we go. We do need a turret over there, I think. That's probably a good idea. Or just another obelisk of light. That might be a better idea. Ah, here's an APC that's coming over. What is in this APC, I wonder? It's heading over here, which is... Ah, uh-oh. That's really bad. That is really bad indeed. We most certainly want to uh, distract these units as quickly as possible because they're going to try and take things. Let's hope they don't... Ah, they did not manage it. That is much better. We do need an obelisk, I think, right about here. And we have low power now. And that uh, stealth tank is not doing very well in uh, keeping itself concealed, so I think we need an uh, advanced power plant right there as this one goes over here to uh, be a little bit more quiet. There you go. Stay there and try your best to uh, become invisible. Failing that, we're going to uh, build a um, repair facility, which means we could uh, fix it back up. We're waiting for our nuclear strike, however, because that is going to be very, very important. Also, I think they're going over to get that uh, stealth tank, which we're going to uh, move over here so as to lure these opponents down here to where the obelisk is. Ah, that did manage to get a hit in, but only one, which is a good thing indeed. We want to uh, send that away to get prepared, which I think we'll do right now. There you go! Go get yourself patched up. We're going to be a massive distraction here for a um, for a harvester or two. There we go. Where is it? It's over there. But then again, this really isn't that important at the moment, because... Uh, did, did we get attacked there? We got attacked there by the... Um, we did! We got attacked by the mammoth tank, which is really good, because we need to head over there at some point anyway, so uh, we'll just lure this opponent over here. And now, this uh, stealth tank can be invisible once more. You just go down there, and uh, eventually these tanks will uh, find their way over to my base, and then get completely destroyed. We could try and uh, be a little bit sneakier concerning uh, using artillery and various other things, but really, we don't need that many things at the moment to defend ourselves. That said, there are a lot of mammoth tanks coming our way, and they're about to all get zapped. 
There we go, I think that worked rather well, wouldn't you say? Excellent. Come this way, Mammoth Tanks, into Zappy Doom! It is very zappy, Building. is this Doom. We want to get a few silos here, just so that we uh, don't run out of any uh, capacity to store Tiberium, because we have a lot of money coming in. Yep, there we go, much better. Now we want to get this uh, one uh, recon bike up here to uh, get these harvesters when we decide to come over into this direction, which I don't actually think they're going to do that much, but maybe building a few uh, artillery pieces would indeed be useful, building. so that we can eventually go and uh, crush these base defences. They are building quite a few things. Construction can they, uh, they can in fact make commandos, which is uh, a very worrying thing indeed. Maybe we want something over here to uh, distract the, uh, aha, there we go. Now you're going to start following me, which is really good. Come this way, into Zappy Peril. And Zappy Peril was indeed building. achieved, or at least I hope it was. Yes, we do want a few more units though, and we can't build any uh, grenadiers complete. unfortunately. Nuclear but there's um, Ooh, it's ready now. And that is a good thing. Out. Hello Mr. Commando, oh, you have down. chose a terrible... Ah, there went one of our obelisks. Fortunately building. we can uh, rebuild it quite quickly. And I think we need to pick a very good position for this nuclear strike here. How about Select around target. about here? Nuclear Seems good. Will it work? The answer weapon. is that was pretty effective and now they can't build any units whatsoever. I think it's safe to say that we might have won with just that singular attack right there. Complete. Did we even manage to get rid of their um... Is there advanced communication style gone? No it indeed is not. We're gonna have to go and get that aren't we? But fortunately, here come all of their units that uh, managed to survive the uh, nuclear attack, and now they're all going to get zapped with lasers. Unfortunately, you did not pick a uh, very good attack strategy. Sort of running on mass is very ineffective indeed. Building. They do have a fair few defences left, though, that we are going to have to be very, very careful about. But we can start getting rid of them using our um, artillery pieces here. And they only have uh, a singular harvester left, I think, so we can destroy that eventually, too. But we will need to find it, and we will need to uh, lure it over with our recon bike. But all in all, this went pretty well, especially considering the fact that um, we were at a definite disadvantage at the very beginning. I think a few artillery pieces would be uh, quite handy over here. And also a flame tank or two, because Building. why not? You never know, they may send uh, something nasty against us, or maybe a um, we could send a light tank as well, just in case. It's a pretty- complete. Ah, here comes a Building. large amount of engineers. This is a good plan with one minor drawback, and that is that, um, yeah, that was the complete. minor drawback right there. It's uh, minor, but I do think it's most certainly noticeable. All right, we have some uh, tanks here that we're going to send up as well. And then I think we might want to send a... Um, do we want Building. another... We do want another light tank, I think. Ah, there is a mammoth tank. We might have accidentally lured over the wrong thing. But that's okay, because we can easily uh, go over here and get our recon bike repaired. And there we go. Hello, Mr. Uh, civilian. That was a really poor idea there. A really poor idea. So we're going to, um, ah, you're going to go yes, over sir. there, and then we're going to have you go up there, so then you head over to where this uh, obelisk is, and then you die. At least Waiting that's the Herman. plan, anyway. Is that a, no, that's a mammoth tank that for some reason is going to, uh, is that the, that's the harvester. Right, that's what we want Waiting to uh, do. We want to get that harvester. All right, over here, Mr. Harvester. I have a friend who would like to say hello. This friend has rockets. Look, where did you go? Did you go down here? I think you went down here, didn't you? No, you did not. Also, uh, that mammoth tank is trying to go after all of these units here. Unfortunately, uh, we have a way to deal with that, and that is that uh, we're just going to wait very, very patiently. Also, here comes the APC that, for some reason, are they going up there to go and attack those units? That is a really poor idea. Why are you doing that? Because they are the most northern units that I have. Which is a really, really bad thing for them, because they're about to die very badly. Hello, Mr. Commandos! Meet fire! And the engineers will also meet fire, and it won't work out for them whatsoever. We need to build another artillery piece, I think. I really don't think you can capture them, but you're welcome to try if you think it'll work. It's not gonna work. Nope, it's not gonna work at all. And so we now have, uh, I don't think we 
have another... No, we only get arrived. one nuclear yes. strike, so we're not going to be able to uh, do a repeat of what we did before. Out. Where is their... Um, I don't know where their harvester is. But either way, they yes, really don't have department. anything that they can build anyway, so uh, let's just start getting rid of all Unit of their reporting. units, shall we? Starting with these ones right here. Yes, sir. Hello there, how are you? You're Unit in a little bit of trouble. Order. And Moving by a out. little bit of trouble, I mean a lot of trouble. There is their harvester. Alright, let's, um, let's start building a few things here. We'll build, I think, a couple of uh, light tanks. And by a couple, I mean absolutely loads of them. And they can repair these all they like. Unfortunately, it's really not going to go well for them whatsoever. There we go. That one's gone. And then this one will also be gone. And they can't rebuild any of these because they don't have the capability to. Also, there is a light tank, which is really good. All right, we'll put these over here, and very slowly we'll uh, sneak up on their base and destroy... Oh, careful! That's a, that was a little too close, and unfortunately it cost you dearly. But that's okay, because we have absolutely loads of money left over. And by loads, I mean we really need to start building things before we uh, run out of the ability to store the money. And I think something... Yep, yeah, that was an ion cannon, unfortunately destroying one of our obelisks of light. But um, we don't need to worry about that, because we have loads and loads of money. Hey, just think at the beginning, we were in trouble apparently. Also, that light tank has no idea where it's going. It's going over here to join all these units that are most certainly going to uh, spell the doom of any enemy they come across. Building. All right, artillery pieces there. Yes, sir. We want to uh, send a couple of uh, light tanks in this direction. Can they destroy these without getting uh, hit by... No, they cannot. But that's okay, because they're now just going to attack that there. I think that will probably do the yes, trick, sir. as long as we can actually get over to it. Yes, can we get over to it? The answer is a resounding, it doesn't seem like it that right now. But eventually they will be able to destroy it. Or will they? All we need to do is get rid of these ones, and yes, then uh, that one is gone. That's good enough. Let's yes, move away, shall we? That was rather ineffective, but hey, at least we managed to eventually destroy that uh, fortification. And that's pretty much all we were planning to do anyway. Yes, one artillery piece, however, yes, will probably do the job that much better, building. and without so much of our uh, units being destroyed. Also, here comes the harvester. Yes, this was a very bad idea on your part, because now you're going to be destroyed by copious amounts of, uh, yep, that's pretty yes, much sir. it. One buggy is going to come after us, and that's really not going to be enough. Because now I think you have absolutely nothing to defend your entire base. Except for that one minigunner, who really, really yes, picked the, uh, a bad time to attack. Yep, a very bad time. Not only did you burn, but you also got ran over. Which is pretty bad. Very bad indeed, and we might as well, uh, go in there at some point, just in case there are any GDI forces in there. There might be, but I think we might have already got all of their attention by, uh, you know, attacking them there and uh, costing them their final harvester. They have no more harvesters anymore, so uh, they can try and do whatever they like here. But this advanced guard tower is going to also... What are the... Uh, the orcas are completely failing to land in there, probably because there's a uh, there's an orca in there. Hello, how are you? You are now dead. That's uh, unfortunate for you. Let's get rid of all of these uh, things over here, I think. Getting rid of all of the uh, power plants is probably good. Ah, that's not good, though. The fact that you're going to uh, you're going to attack that tank there is rather bad. But fortunately, you should be able to attack back, and since you can't land anywhere, eventually you will die. Or maybe you'll attack the recon bike, and we won't be able to uh, defend our things anymore. That is not good. Maybe when it lands, we can actually hit it. But maybe not. Nope, there we go, we can try and hit it, but unfortunately they're going to uh, send loads of attacks against us, so we uh, should probably get some rocket troopers. That seems like a good idea. Also, I like the fact that they're just trying to land the places and they can't. That's just a nice touch. It's like, you can't land? Oh well, try and land anyway. I'm sure you'll manage it at some point. And then they never managed it, ever. Let's get rid of this silo, shall we? We're slowly but surely getting rid of everything that they have. I think three rocket troopers might be enough to go and get rid of those orcas. They're pretty much the last thing that... Uh, uh, hello, Mr. Technician! I was about to say that they're the last thing that can defend the base, but no, it would seem that they can also get uh, a technician or two. Are they going to try and attack this artillery piece? The answer is a resounding no. 
Ah, hello, Mr. Technician. You're going to die. We'll let you get your shots off, and then we'll just blow you up. Oh, or you're going to run away, and there you go. Now you're gone. Yes, sir. Three rocket troopers should be enough, I think. Building. But then again, maybe it won't be, so I'll build a couple more. But it's uh, easy to say that uh, I think we might have won here. Alright, they'll get that. There we go. And I've no idea why you're blowing up that wall there. You just didn't like that piece of wall for some reason. Alright, now you're going to go over here and... Uh, is that orca gone? No, that orca is coming back. That was a really bad idea on your part. A really bad idea. Then again, we may need a few more rocket troopers because we just lost one of them. Or we could just get a um, recon bike or something else. Building. But no matter, because we ended up winning either way. Let's start blowing up everything else they have. I don't think they have any more of the... Um, I don't think they have any more of the uh, orcas left. Or anything left, actually. So it's just an easy matter of uh, destroying these power plants and then destroying uh, all of the defenses they have left. They really don't have that many. There we go. I don't think they have enough power for that um, advanced guard tower anymore. I really don't think they do. Also, our base is under attack. Goodbye, Obelisk. I've no idea why you went for that one rather than these ones, but either way, you got rid of it. Well done, you. It really wasn't that effective, though. This technician, however, is very effective. Run, technician, run! And now you are dead. I think we'll just blow this up right now. Why not? We'll just get rid of things one at a time, and then we'll have to hunt down every other unit that you have. All right, we'll put that there just to uh, replace what we've lost, and there we go. A few more units, and the base will be gone. And victory will indeed be ours. We do indeed want to get rid of everything. I don't know if we want to get rid of the civilians, because uh, ah, this one will still attack even though it has no power. But that's okay, because we have far too many forces for them to deal with it. There we go. Unfortunately, you're up against the Brotherhood of Nod. And they're armed with tactics and cunning. Whereas you have the uh, inability to really do anything once I had obelisks of light set up. We have three of them right now. And we really don't need any of them. There we go, that's the end of that. We can't even really see it, and it's now about to go. And I think that's a silo. Yes, that's a silo. Full of money that is completely and totally worthless. And here is their communication center that I think is now very much gone. Mission complete indeed. point there, but why would you actually stop when uh, you get attacked by that obelisk of light? I mean, maybe if it was the first time you'd ever seen an obelisk of light, but really, stopping there is a very bad idea. They're just going to charge it up again, and then they're going to kill you some more. Generally, that is some poor tactics right there. Also, we lost a few uh, buildings, but they lost a lot more indeed. And that is one covert operation mission complete. Now it brings us back to the main menu. And when we come back, folks, we're gonna go and try another one. But which one will we try? Maybe we'll try one from GDI. Who knows? It's probably a good idea because we've done one for Nod. It's only fair we do one for them. So I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then.